When I say that this is one of the most realistic maps in Skater XL, I'm not necessarily talking in terms of detail or graphics or anything like that. I'm talking about this has a personal impact on my life. That's why. Uh, I've gone over this map a couple times actually, but it's, it's finally out. What is going on guys? Good morning. Or it's night time for me. It, it's middle of the night actually. Good night. Oh god, it, it, it's happening. It's happening already. Hey! <laughs> I've done a video on this map already, but that was pre-release. Pre that was pre-release of the map. That was pre-release. Tave has officially uploaded it onto Mod.io. I don't actually know when he uploaded it. I just saw I was actually looking for a new map to film a video on and I saw that and I was like, oh, it's time. If you haven't checked out the first video I made on this map, I'll have that in the description. That kind of shows me actually recreating the tricks that I did in, in real life, in the map. Whoops. This video, not only am I gonna explore some of the, the spots that I didn't explore in the previous video, but I also wanna, I wanna reach out to you, Tave. God damn it. Mr. Tave! I could totally just DM you privately, but that's way less fun than calling you out on YouTube, so I'm gonna do that. When we were previously talking about you making this map so I could recreate my entire Erase Street part, I, I told you I'd pay you a hundred bucks for getting the map done, and, you know, we, we agreed that once the map was finished, I would pay you, and this was the, the beta, the, uh, <coughs> Mm, excuse me. The unfinished version, obviously. I want this map to be finished. And reading through the comments on Mod.io, I think a lot of other people would like the finished version of the map as well. So I'm proposing an offer. Option number one. You put a ton of work into this. It already looks and skates amazing. It is almost perfect in my eyes. Even though the map was never finished, I will happily pay you the, the hundred bucks we agreed on and, and we can just, we can call it, you know, this can be the finished project. Or I will double my offer and offer you the fine lump sum of $200 to get this map finished. I really do think this map has a lot of potential, not only for the Skater XL community to enjoy, but also just for me personally, I still really wanna create my, my entire race street part. I'm still gonna DM you privately, but I think you did an absolutely amazing job on this map for, especially for it not even being finished yet. Boom, front side flip, perfect. I really do think this map has a lot of potential and I know that you, uh, you might be over it, which is why I, I'm putting the offer out there. If you're over it, you're over it, I understand. But if, you, if you're interested in completing it, um, I think it could be cool. That being said, let me, uh, we have a couple things to do. The first one being the top comment. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just did that. I apologize. Uh, my phone. Top comment. The top comment on the last video. Nick Hoskins says, play This Is Your Daily Dose of the Internet in the back. That's one of my, my OG YouTube channels. I used to watch him way back in the day. I think something's broken in my remote. Okay. Dog sliding down a snowy hill. See, you, you can't hate on Daily Dose of Internet. He's the one YouTuber that never changed. He uploads short videos that are straight to the point, no clickbait titles. <laughs> Unlike me. If it's anyone's first time tuning into the videos, whatever the uh, the top comment is on my previous video, gets to choose what goes on the TV in the background of the next video. That's about it. Like I said, what sparked this video in the first place is I went over to Mod.io when I was looking for a new map. So I went to Street and we selected it and I saw this and I was like, that's the map. 18 Third Sacramento, a map I made for Garrett Jr. but never finished. Tave, it has so much potential. We need to finish this. I don't know anything about map development or optimization or any of those things, but I have heard in the comments that there's some lighting issues. I actually didn't notice those myself. Could use some optimization. Thanks to you guys, I'm able to provide a very nice workstation, aka a PC for myself. So I don't have any frame issues or anything, but I have noticed some people saying it in the comments. Nearing a gig, some optimization is needed badly, so that's another optimization comment. I live for skate. I agree with this comment. Very good map with lots of potential. Hope the big round rails will be skatable. Don't know if it was on purpose anyway. I didn't have time to work on splines before I stopped working on the project. Tave, it's time! The people want it! Please! Mr. Vagina says this is good. It has to be dope X-Man. Appreciate you, my guy. It's cool to see a lot of people that, that grew up in Sacramento appreciating the Sacktown spot, which is sick too. Like I said, this is the, the second video I filmed on this map, so I want to kind of start skating the stuff that we didn't skate in the first video. I'm trying to think of what big round rails weren't splined based on that count, based on that killment, based on that comment. I do want to try to skate these though. Are these splined? No, I think those are the big round rails. Oh yeah, for sure. Cause these are these are the curve rails. You guys know I'm all obsessed with curve rails. These would be such a sick spot to skate. Let's first just mess around and try to get a line from here, from the start of these benches, all the way on down to here and see if we can manage to not mess it up the entire way. I feel like we've been blue for a while. Let's switch up the lighting first. How about, ooh. I like the purple. Some people hate on the purple. I like the purple. I'm thinking maybe start out easy. Do the tricks I always do. Back crook, front crook. Back crook, bump out. Front crook, bump out. Uh, I'm out of tricks, cable back lip. 
And then... Straight up. And then... Front one kick flip! Damn it! No, 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 no. Well, let's just... Let's spice it up from the beginning. Let's just get a, an all new tricks line. Nolly heel, front tail. Pop out. Uh, a quick little knack. Nose blunt. God, it, it's so quick, I start panicking. We could do, like, dream tricks or tricks I'm working on in real life, which would be front 180, switch 5 0. And then I'm, I am really working on switch front crooks, even though that's a trick I do a lot in game. Let's do a big spin inward heel and kick flip back tail big spin. That would, I would be very, very happy with that line in real life. Just that first trick. I don't know why that trick is so hard for me in real life. No matter how hard I try to get that back truck over to go into switch crook, it always just slips into a tail slide. Film from down here, those. Okay, that filming sucked. Close enough. We come around here, switch front croak. I've been working on fakie front croaks. I can do them, but just popping switch is just my weakness, apparently. Fakie, big spin, inward heel. Not a very tasteful trick in a line, but it's still cool. And then kick with back tail, big spin. That was a pretty... I like that. Throughout the map, it's really cool how there's just sort of like benches and rails and flat bars anywhere. So obviously, besides the main spots that are in the my race part, there's also, you know, a bunch of stuff like this, which I don't know if it's spline. That is. Okay, so it's just the rails on the side that aren't. I guess I should probably uh, talk about the fact for those of you that didn't watch the first video. This whole thing started, I reached out to Tave on Discord, who is a very, a very talented map creator. I'm a skateboarder in real life. I, I, it's crazy that some of you guys only know my gaming channel, not my main channel. I do skate. The last real street part that I put out was the Erase street part with the homie Luis. The majority of that part, if not all of that part, was filmed in either LA or Sacramento. I really wanted to recreate the entire part in Skater XL, so I hit up Tave to make a map of all of the actual erased edit spots combined into one map. So the 18 stair rail. He added this on his own without telling me, which I thought was super sick. The infamous broken pelvis rail. Oh. The out ledge, there's the, the manual pad over here. Again, I've talked about all this in the previous video, so I don't want to make this repetitive. Just go check out the first video if you haven't yet. That's the, the backstory to this map. That's why I'm calling it the most realistic Skater XL map, because it, it has the most real skate spots combined into one map, if that makes sense. Wasn't there like a hidden... Yeah, I think this. This was like the, the weird little hidden section that he added. I forget why. I'm telling you, dude, Tave, the, the more I skate this map, I still play this map a lot on stream. Link in description, by the way. We go live it. Just pl plug the plug the stream whenever I can. We go live every day. FB.gg slash Gaming. Probably one of my, my most skated maps. It's not even done yet. And I think it has I think it has so much potential if you can finish it. Um enough talking, Garrett. No one actually wants to hear you talk. Is there anything over here? I'm assuming no. What about in there? No, I'm kind of just trying to explore. Here, I highly doubt you spline these. Wow, you did spline these. That's pretty sick. Unless they're like pre spline objects or something. That's tight. Can you slappy them though? That's the real question. No, you can't. What about uh, 5 0 to 5 0 to 5 0? We got this 5 0 5 0 to nose grind to nolly flip to big flip. Money, baby. This is almost kind of cool here. Nolly inward heel. We forgot the inward heel. Let's just start over. Nolly inward heel. Okay, now <laughs> we went from not an inward heel to too much of an inward heel. Nolly inward heel, nose manual. Nolly big heel out. Ah, uh, kind of landed primo, but we're taking it. What else is new? We can skate the dirt. Very, very cool. Oh, sometimes I forget how how sick this is having the like trailers right there in front of the rail like may maybe it's just me because these are all real spots to me but like this i feel like i'm I, much more immersive being in this map if this was blind that'd be so perfect being able to do like a a backsmith around that whole curve that'd be nice i don't think we ever skated these ledges in the first video that's what i'm saying there's just a lot of perfect little spots hidden throughout the uh because it's like technically a a school setting that's what the map is modeled after mainly as a, as a big school or like a campus. So there's just a bunch of picnic tables and benches and we're doing a power slide apparently. Backside flip switch crook. Go oh, and then, oh, then switch. I almost called it a switch switch crook. A switch to regular crooks, which I don't, I'm so bad at skateboarding names, dude. You'd think I'd know what I'm talking about. Boom. One push. Boom. Milo said yes. No, he didn't. It'd be sick if I don't get the space in between. That might be a little bit too quick. That almost was it. I'm thinking of the first one perfect. And then right into it. Yeah, and then we'll end it off with a Trey Crook Nolly flip. Damn it! Talk about dream trick though. Oh. That would be so. Can you see? 
No, you can't see him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, yeah. There you are. <laughs> He's been trying to hop up here the whole time. Hi. Is that the attention you wanted? Is it is it weird to kiss your dog? I've always thought it was weird. And then I got a dog and I was like, oh, that's normal. I don't know, though. It's kind of weird. Ooh. Something about just like feebles and crooks. Like whenever you pinch into a chicken skater XL, if you get it good, it's so satisfying feeling. Pop out straight into the switch 180 to regular. That was more of a nose grind, but we're taking it. About some roof gaps here. Here's some stuff we never skated. Geronimo! Oh, we can actually probably go through the hole. Is that a sexual joke? Oh, look at that. Best way to start off a line and then trash. Again, the main purpose of this video is just to announce that the official version, although it's not finished, the official version is out. As always, I'm gonna have it linked in the description of this video down below. Tave, if you're watching this, I hope you're watching this. Uh, I will be in contact with you. I really do want to get the finished version of this map out. I know you might be over it, but but I, I think we're, I think you're onto something. I think it's good, bro. I think we can do something with this. Damn it. Regardless of if you do want to finish it, uh, thank you again. I know I mentioned this in the first video, but thank you for putting the time and effort into this. Comments, can you guys comment? Thank you, Tave. Show him some appreciation, some, some love. It does mean a lot, man. I know we haven't talked in a while. I've been unbelievably crazy busy lately. This was a really fun project that I was looking forward to, and I, I still am looking forward to it. So let's stop sucking at the game and do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're excited for the part two where the map is finished, drop a thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe. We are coming up very quick on 90,000 subscribers. 90,000. Where's the ground? The ground goes away whenever I pop. That's interesting. 90,000 is the last big milestone we have before uh, 100k, which is one of, if not the biggest milestones the channel can hit besides a million. You guys are amazing. Tave, you're amazing. Any other content creators, map creators, the community is amazing. Thank you guys for everything. That's it. We're going to do the Trey Croak Nolly Big Flip really quick with the invisible ground. And we're ending the video. I will see you on stream today. I'll see you on this channel the day after tomorrow. And I'll see you on the main channel soon. Thank you guys. Peace.